Do you know about this statue in Vittoria Gastes? Or, as I say, the kid who died to end child slavery. He is Iqbal Massey. Iqbal Massey, a young activist from Pakistan, rose to prominence in the struggle against child labor. On April 12, 1983, he was born in Maridki, a tiny Pakistani hamlet close to Lahore. He was the second of six kids, and his parents were not wealthy. Iqbal's parents sold him to the owner of a carpet factory when he was four years old in order to settle a debt. He was made to weave carpets for a living in difficult conditions for long hours every day. If he did not work hard enough or made a mistake, he was beaten and verbally abused. Iqbal was adamant about leaving the factory and attending school, despite the challenging circumstances. His opportunity came when he met Asan Allah Khan, the leader of the local organization that fought for the release of child laborers and founder of the Bonded Labor Liberation Front. At the age of 10, Iqbal managed to escape the workplace with the aid of Khan and other activists. For the first time in his life, he attended school and picked up reading and writing skills. He also started speaking out against child labor and child exploitation as an advocate for children's rights. Iqbal traveled the globe as a result of his activism. He shared his experiences and urged people to take action with speeches at conferences, protests, and other gatherings. He spoke with representatives from the government, commerce, and other prominent groups, urging an end to child labor and the defense of children's rights. Iqbal was shot and killed in 1994 while riding his bicycle by unidentified assailants. He was 12 years old at the time. It is thought that his campaigning against child labor made him a target. His passing brought child labor into the spotlight on a global scale, and the power of his narrative moved many to take action. Iqbal is regarded as a hero today in the struggle against child labor. His legacy continues to motivate individuals and groups fighting for children's rights and the prevention of abuse and exploitation. Despite improvements in some regions, the global problem of child labor persists. There are an estimated 152 million juvenile laborers worldwide, many of whom work in hazardous and deadly situations, according to the International Labor Organization. Iqbal's life and work, though, continue to serve as a reminder of the significance of defending children's rights and fighting to establish a world in which all kids are free to play, learn, and develop in a secure environment. Thank you for watching this video. Please, click on, subscribe, press the bell icon, like, share, comment, to build my confidence to post more.